Hey everyone, I'm Boone from Premium Beat. Today, I wanna to talk about the art of the pitch deck. And in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna be putting together a pitch deck for a short film project that I'm working on. I'm gonna go over why you wanna create one of these, who you'll be sending it to, what goes in it, and the tools and resources you can use to create one. So I recently just finished my script for my short film idea. If you want to check out my last two tutorials, I show how to properly format a screenplay, and then I show you how you can break it down and pull all these elements out, preparing them for production. So now I'm at a point in the pre-production process where I really want to get the ball rolling to get my idea up on screen, and the pitch deck is going to help me do that. This document is going to serve a few different purposes. First of all, it's gonna help me flesh out the idea. It's gonna help me figure out everything I wanna know about the project, so I'll be able to answer any questions that are thrown my way, whether the discussion leads to character, theme, locations, any technical questions, cinematography questions. Also, I'll be able to develop a tight elevator pitch, which is another really important part of the pitch process. So all this is gonna help me when I wanna raise money or just entice casting crew members to join my team. Now depending on the size and type of project you're working on, your pitch deck is going to look a little different than mine. I'm working on creating a short film here in Paris, and I'm going to be using the pitch deck for three specific things. First, I'll be pitching to production companies. Now, there are just a plethora of companies here in Paris, many of whom are available to partner up. Now ideally, I'd be able to find one that would partner up with me and help work with me throughout the various stages of production on my film. Second, I'll be applying for grant money. Now, in addition to production companies, there's also a really a large number of grant opportunities here in Paris and France. Not only from the city of Paris, but from the different regions of France and the different cinema associations and organizations throughout the country. Now if I can't find any production companies that'll partner up with me and I can't win any grant money, I might be funding the short film entirely out of my own pocket. If this is the case, I'll still be able to use these pitch materials to try to entice cast and crew members to join my team. Now depending on my budget and how much money I have to spend, I might not be able to afford everyone that I want, so perhaps the pitch materials can entice some of these people and interest them enough to where they can join the crew and be happy to work on the project, simply because they're interested. Okay, so now I need to figure out what to put in the pitch deck. Now, this will be dependent on where I'm sending this document. So I'm gonna need to make changes depending on the needs of the recipient. The best option here is to create a master pitch deck, and then as I'm sending them out, I can customize them based once again on the needs of the recipient. So first to get organized, I'm gonna write out a master list of everyone I wanna approach, the production companies, all the grants that I wanna apply for, and all the prospective cast and crew members that I want to approach. Once I have this directory in place, I'm going to look through specifically and see what each particular place needs, and I'm going to add that to a master document list, which will help guide me into figuring out everything that's going to need to go inside of this pitch deck. So here's a great example. This is one uh, particular production company, and it shows specifically what they want when they receive a pitch from you. They're going to want to see a synopsis, a note of intention from the director, the entire script, a resume from the director, and a demo reel. I'm going to go ahead and add all those elements to my list here. Now here's another example. This is a grant application, and they want a little bit more than the production company does. They want a synopsis, note of intention, the script, resumes from the writer, the director, and the producer, a technical sheet, provisional budget, and a finance plan. So I'm going to go ahead and add all those to my master list. Now, as I said before, if I can't win any grant money and I can't find any production companies to partner up with, then I'm going to use the pitch deck to approach specific casting crew members that I want to try to entice to, to join my crew. So let's say I'm approaching a DP. They might want to see a lookbook. They might want to know the locations of where you're going to be shooting. Making a list of comparable films will also be helpful. So once again, I will need to customize and make adjustments to this document each time I'm pitching, depending on the needs of the recipient. This is really great because once I have this master pitch deck document, I'll just be able to pull the assets that I need out, customize, tweak them a little bit, and then send them off to the recipient. So now here I have a master list of what I want to put in this pitch deck. So I have the title, the log line, I went ahead and created a one sheet, I have the synopsis, the note of intention, the script, character descriptions, the filmmaker and team bios, a technical sheet, lookbook, list of locations, list of comparable films, the budget, the finance plan, my distribution goals, and even a sizzle reel if I have one. All right, so I've got the master pitch deck list set up. What's gonna take a really long time is actually putting all these elements together. However, once I have all these elements together, 
how am I gonna bring it into one specific document? Well, there are a number of different ways. You could always hire a graphic designer to put together a really nice looking document. If you don't have money for that, but you do have a little bit of money to play with, you can always purchase professional images from Shutterstock or even video clips to put together a sizzle reel. If you don't have any money to play with, you can always go the PowerPoint or Keynote route. And once again, I cannot reiterate enough the importance of um, having this master document. It's gonna make your life so easy. For example, let's say that you meet someone at a conference and you get their contact information and there's someone that can possibly help you make your film. You don't wanna send them your entire pitch deck, especially if it's an unsolicited pitch. What you can do is send them a one sheet or your synopsis or just a, your lookbook with one specific message to see if you can at least pique their interest. And then if you can get them to return your email or show interest, then you have all this other information that you can slowly kind of leak out to them to keep them returning your emails and eventually hopefully get your phone made. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the Premium Beat YouTube channel, and be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for all of your music needs. I'll see you next time.